In this lecture, I am going to explain conversion of NFA with epsilon MOS to its equivalent NFA without epsilon MOS. I am going to explain this with an example. In this example, there are three states where Q0 is initial state and Q2 is final state and two input symbols are used A and B. First step is find epsilon closure of Q0. Q0 if input is null. There is no next state. So we have to write the same state again. Now I completed epsilon closure of this state Q0. Next step is to find transition for this state Q0. In this example two inputs are there A as well as B. So I am going to find transition for these two input symbol A and B. While finding transition of Q0 if input is A, first I have to find transition for this one and then I have to find null closure for the resultant state. Q0, if input is A, next state is Q1. So it is null closure of Q1. Now find null closure of Q1. Q1, if input is null, next state is Q2. Always I have to write this particular state as well. So I am writing Q1 and Q2. Simultaneously I am going to draw table so it is easy for me to fill. I am going to find transition for next input. Q0 if input is B. Q0 if input is B there is no next state so it is null closure of MT. Null closure of MT is equal to MT. I am going to fill this in table. Initial state is Q0. If input is A next state is Q1, Q2. If input is B, next state is empty. Now I am going to find null closure of Q1. Q1, if input is null, next state is Q2. So always while finding null closure of any state, we have to write that same state again. So I am writing Q1. Now if Q1 is present state, empty string, the next state is Q2. And I don't have any more state to go over here. So I am going to complete this. Next step, I want to find transition for this. First, I am going to find transition for this Q1, Q2 if input is A. Then I am going to find null closure for the resultant state. Now Q1, if input is A, there is no next state. Q2, if input is A, there is no next state. So it is null closure of empty. So null closure of empty is always empty. I am going to fill this in table Q1. If input is A, next state is empty. Now I am going to find for input B, Q1. If input is B, there is no next state. Q2, if input is B, the next state is Q2. So it is null closure of Q2. While writing null closure of Q2, I have to write the same state again. Now Q2, if input is empty, there is no next state. So I am going to complete here. Q1 if input is B, next state is Q2. Now I am going to find for state Q2, null closure of Q2. Q2 if input is null, there is no next state. So I am going to write the same state again. Now I am going to find transition for this Q2. Q2 if input is A, there is no next state. So I am going to write null closure of empty. Null closure of empty is equal to empty. I am going to fill this table. Q2 if input is A, next state is empty. Now I am going to find for input B. Q2 if input is B, next state is Q2. So it is null closure of Q2. Now I am going to find null closure of Q2. Already I found this over here. So it is Q2. So from Q2 if input is null there is no next state. Q2 if input is B next state is Q2. No more state over here. So I am going to complete here. So now which one is final state? Here in this example Q2 is final state. So here also Q2 is final state. Now I am going to draw transition diagram for this. Q0 if input is A there are two next state Q1 and Q2. Q1 if input is B next state is Q2. Q2 if input is B next state is Q2. For this NFA with epsilon most 
we converted to nfa without epsilon mos here so this is how we have to convert nfa with epsilon mos to nfa without epsilon mos